Hello out there, this is uh, Glazes Giza Garage. See behind me the 64 Impala. I'm gonna start on the wiring harness uh, this episode, so stay tuned. We're working on the 64 Impala. I'm pulling the old wiring harness out, which left of it. I'm gonna get that out, start laying the new harness in. So uh, yeah, let's get, let's get working. Okay, we're out here working on the 64 Impala. What we're gonna do today is install this new American Auto Wire uh, fuse box. It's the updated blade type fuses. The opening here is a little bit bigger, so they give you a template here. I've taped that on according to their instructions, and I marked it out there. So we're gonna cut that out. I'll probably drill the corners out first to make them rounded and then cut them out cut this out we got the hole cut out fits in there nicely I don't like the long screws they gave you I'm gonna get some stainless steel bolts with nylocks put the heads on this side put the nuts on the inside make it look better on the firewall that's just me I'm pretty particular but yeah let's come around here and check what we have so we have the wiring harness kind of laid up in there. Got a couple of things hooked in. I got the light switch hooked in. I'm just kind of routing things and seeing where things are at. Got the rear wiring harness in, or I should say laid in here. As you can see it's coming back, the rocker comes back, comes up, goes into the trunk. But I have it laying up here right now because I need to terminate these four wires here, the dark green, Sorry, dark green, light green, yellow, and brown. The orange one terminates by itself with another one. This one goes, this light brown goes to the uh, gas tank. So yeah, looking good. So let's get this these wires terminated and it has the proper, by the way, the kit's a really nice kit. Uh, this is the other portion of this connector but I need to terminate these four wires and put them in the right location to connect to this connector. So let's get to work. terminated they all match up to this one so I'm going to run this back up through the rear uh, uh, what you call it the passenger compartment rear deck back seat back anyway I'm going to run this back up through there see if we can make a connection okay I got the rear wiring harness basically done got the grommet in going down to the gas tank Got this running over here, going to the left side tail light system. Comes across here to the other side, right here. Got the pigtails out here. Got the pigtail out here. This is the wire for the license plate light. So yeah, we're we're good to go here. Okay, so I'm hooking up this. Power, convertible power top harness and I found a typo I called American Auto Wire and he said yes it is a typo if you look at um, plug bear terminal wire end of 510088 harness into accessory connector number two on the main dash harness maintaining color continuity with red wire 
in the con in the location. Color continuity and red wire are two different things. Because down here it tells you to plug your breaker into battery number two, which is the red wire. So you can't keep color continuity if you pu plug the yellow wire, bare wire, into red. So anyway, they're going to change that wording there, color continuity with red, because that's yellow into red. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the rear harness with the convertible power top harness. So it comes through here as one unit and it's protected when it goes up into and around this metal. Let's get the wrapping. Not that kind of wrap, guys. started getting into the wiring on the instrument cluster um, <clears throat> they don't terminate a lot of wires so I'm working on the gray wire the ground you put it together in a splice right here and then you heat shrink it together slide this up and heat shrink it it's all crimped uh, these are all terminated at the dash lights actually the back of the 64 actually says gray so yeah pretty self-explanatory uh, Wiring harness is very nice, but just like any wiring harness, they don't take the responsibility of terminating things. It's too much of a risk for them to be off a little bit, so I'm uh, going to have to wire all these bulb units, all these little clips. Ought to be fun. Wish me luck. <laughs> 